Okay, in this video, we're going to be talking about SEO or search engine optimization. And what this is, is it's looking to get traffic from Google or Yahoo or uh, MSN, which are the few biggest search engines out there. And the truth is, even though there are thousands of search engines, <clears throat> what you're going to find is almost all of them pull their traffic from Google, Yahoo, and MSN. And Google gets roughly 50% of all of the search engine traffic. So obviously that's one of your biggest focuses. Now, um, I did make a video series called One Hour Google, which is available at onehourgoogle.com, which goes into more detail and more specific techniques of exactly how um, I took a brand new domain, a brand new uh, product, and put it on page one of Google uh, in a term that was out of millions and it took me less than an hour to do it um, and honestly it's probably about 20 minutes worth of work maybe maybe um, in order to do everything and um, I'm going to share with you now some of those techniques now <clears throat> one of the ones that's kind of obvious but a lot of people don't do it is after you do your keyword research and that in itself is a hint you really have to do your keyword research um, but let's say your keyword research tells you that one of the terms that you want to rank high for is the term one hour Google okay let's say they're saying that hey people are typing that into the search engines every single month and uh, you know there's not too much competition but a lot of people want it then what you want to do is you want to try and find the domain one hour Google okay now let me show you this great tool that is 100% free to use and it's called Ajax who is now you can see right here that's how to get to the domain AJAXWHOIS dot com now what this does is it saves you the time when you're uh, sorry when you're when you're searching for a domain in order to get the results quicker so maybe it's one hour Google Okay, when you type that in, you can see, and this is of course just an example. I mean, one hour Google is my site, so I know it's not available, but you can see that .net or .info is available. Okay, now when it comes to search engine optimization, what we're talking about is your website. We're not talking about on a blog. We're not talking about on a Squidoo lens or an article or anything like that. All those have different techniques and different uh, parts of the formula that make it more important or less important we're talking about when you own a domain name and that is the name of your site okay now this will dominate over any other form long term of uh, SEO okay in other words Google News will get up there fast uh, but it won't stay for long Yahoo Answers will get up there fast but if it's a if you have a domain name that is based on that keyword phrase and you've optimized it the right way it will actually win um, the battle between you know Yahoo answers or or any of these others long term because Google sees that as the most relevant now one of the things you want to do is you want to pick a dot com over a dot net or a dot info um, if the dot com is not available you can do a dot org and that will um, give you a good ranking as well but the dot com is always going to be the ideal now let's say for example we wanted to do dog training and the dot com is not available what could we do instead of that well we could look for dog training 101 we could look for dog training tips we could look for dog training secrets now obviously dog training is a popular niche so you know just that two seconds showed me that you know those few are not available or uh, but what's great about this particular software this Ajax who is is how fast you can go through it versus going to a site like GoDaddy and having to wait for a minute for each one um, for moms that's available for kids you know uh, the dot nets available let's say it's for a specific breed like for poodles okay 
or you get the point. Um, now, if you run out of ideas for this, first of all, when it comes to SEO, make sure if your niche, if your keyword is for that niche is dog training, make sure you have that at the front of your domain. Don't do uh, killer tips for dog training. Do dog training killer tips, you know, uh, instead. And um, the, the other tool that I want to share with you as far as your domain that's really a great tool, and this is one that not a lot of people know about, is domainwiz.net. And what this will do, this is how you spell it right here, is domain Wiz, w -H -I -Z, dot n -E -T. And what this tool will do is it will uh, give you ideas for existing um, domain names that are available, as well as, let me refresh it here, as well as um, monthly search volume as well. So very cool feature. It's a very cool uh, website. Let me uh, pause this for a second until it, until it loads up. Okay, so right now Domain Wiz is actually, the site is actually down. And, you know, a lot of people when they make a video like this, they would just delete that um, and not even mention it. But it is a really powerful tool, so I still want to mention it to you and just tell you basically how it works. Um, what I did here was I went to Google and I typed in Domain Wiz and then clicked on the cache, which shows you what the site used to look like when it was up or whatever and um, domain Wiz is actually um, kind of a secret tool that a lot of people don't know about and basically what happens is this is what it looks like when you first go there and you could type in for example dog training and it'll give you a bunch of different results and what happens is on the right here what you want to do is it'll have a couple check boxes next to um, you know different terms that'll say things like for sale or available or expiring meaning the domain and dot com dot net all those different things and what you want to do is check it off where it says dot com and available okay now by doing that what that'll do is it'll update your search and it'll show you what's really cool is all these different ideas for your niche for different keywords and different terms that are available in the domain. And what you'll find is a lot of them will have a lot of organic traffic. In other words, a lot of people will be searching for those uh, every single month without you having to do anything at all. So, so when it comes to your search engine optimization, this is one of the easiest techniques to drive a whole bunch of traffic is to go to Domain Wiz, find a cool keyword that's related to your niche that has a lot of monthly traffic and then follow the few steps that I'm going to tell you about in order to get a lot of free organic traffic for years to come without any backlinks okay now a couple of things that you need to follow and they're really pretty basic is when it comes to search engine optimization you need to think of your visitors and you need to um, organize things in a way that makes sense to the search engines and doesn't distract from your main focus okay now your home page on your website let me give you an example here okay this page right here um, is top video software now if you scroll down here a little bit um, you can see it's called topvideosoftware.com when you go there first thing you see is bold words that is just that keyword top video software and then uh, your sub header starts with that and has something that supports it okay now what you're gonna see when you go through here is the rest of the page it mentions here and there the word video but it doesn't say top video software top video software top video software because that's very spammy instead it's talking to the people that are there but what it does is it prioritizes the content just like you would a shopping list or a to-do list and the way to remember that is what's on top is the most important so that's what this page is about okay now 
if you uh, if you look at the code on this page or the source on this page which you can do by just right clicking and hitting view page source let me actually do this a little bit higher so you can see better view page source then there's a few things you can learn here that are really important about search engine optimization okay the title is the most important element here okay in that title all you want to have is your keyword term don't put top video software by Mike Cowles or top video software the answer to all your video needs just put the keyword term and it should be a few words most likely it's uh, two to five words maybe two to seven words something like that but just put that in the title that's it and then these meta tags a lot of times Google does not care about meta tags anymore but what you're gonna find is it is still relevant and the other search engines like Yahoo and uh, MSN they do pay attention to it so feel free to go to topvideosoftware.com and look at the code here and copy this and replace the actual content with you know your main keyword is the first thing okay that's for your description this should be pretty much the same as what you see in the title um, or the subtitle and then for the keywords have your main one and then have a few related ones you don't have to have a ton maybe five or six is fine five to ten and then uh, another thing in your meta tags is where it says robots you can just copy all of this guys you know uh, the content uh, index follow that just means you're telling the robots to follow this uh, all the links on this site okay the distribution is global again you're telling Google Yahoo and MSN uh, this can be distributed all over the world and then the author is you put your business name there okay um, now another element about search engine optimization that's really important is when you create a page you don't want it just to be a squeeze page where it has an opt-in box and like a sentence or two okay you want to have a little bit of content here and you want to have a link to external pages now in this case um, I've got a link here to the rest of the um, site okay but what you can do is you can have for example a privacy policy a um, you know about us a contact page whatever all those things on there and have it open up in a new window now this is important because what happens is if you don't have it open up in a new window um, people if they if they open up for example your privacy policy and it's really boring and long Google likes that because it says hey this is an actual business but your customers are going to be bored and they're probably going to close it and what happens then is your site is gone so you have to have it where it opens up in a new window and uh, it's very easy to do um, I'll show you the uh, the code for that right here in a second okay so this is the code for a typical link that would go to Google where the words would say click me now normally this section right here this section right here says to open it in a new window if you were to remove that and have it just like this it would open up in the same window so what we want to do is we want to leave it where it does actually have um, oops where it does actually have it <laughs> let me go back here real quick okay so as you can see here this is with this section right here that will have it open up in a new window so what you want to do is you just want to have that um, the few elements that Google and the other search engines really like are things like privacy policy um, obviously a, uh, a contact page and you want to have a phone number and an email address in there if possible if, uh, if you don't have a phone number in there um, that's not the end of the world but make sure you're saying in there you know like our hours are Monday through Friday 9 to 5 central time zone that kind of thing so it sounds like a professional business okay um, have an about us page um, have a, uh, a terms of use page you know by having these links 
on your site, even if it's a squeeze page, okay, you will get a much better ranking than 99% of the other sites out there because you're telling Google that you're a professional site and you're thinking about your visitors and you're wanting it to be a good experience for them and you're targeting that specific keyword for your customers to make it very relevant. This is what Google wants. So uh, the other last tip I'm going to share with you is putting a picture on there, okay, and taking that picture and when you when you um, when you upload a picture, normally what'll happen is it'll be like you know 128.jpg or something like that, okay. But if your term for um, that particular site is, say for example, dog training, what you want to do is rename that picture to dogtraining.jpg uh, or dogtraining.gif, okay? And then what you want to do is when you do that, first of all, you have to rename it before you upload it, otherwise it won't work. But um, when you create that link, Sorry, I'm doing the I'm doing it the wrong way. It's okay. So this would be your your standard uh, link code. Okay, what you would do is you would add what's called a um, alt tag in there, and you go alt tag equals dog training. And by simply adding that little bit of code there, that tells Google or the search engines that this picture is a picture of whatever you put here in alt tag. And um, that will help your ranking as well. So it's that's pretty much all you have to do when it comes to SEO in order to get a very good ranking, guys. Um, you can always go for getting more backlinks from other people and stuff like that if it's a highly competitive term. But what you're going to find is that there's not a ton of uh, terms out there that really need that. I mean, if you're looking for something like golf or make money online or something, yeah, it's going to be more competitive. But you can get so much traffic with doing these mid-level terms, like maybe dog training for poodles or you know uh, how to teach a dog to sit or things like that, where you can still get a lot of traffic from it. There's a thousand or a few thousand people, you know, thirty thousand people that are searching for that every single month you can dominate just by following these few little tips so go ahead and do this and make sure you apply this the same concept to all the different types of sites that you have as far as prioritizing things having a picture on there whether it's a squidoo lens or a blog or whatever and you'll find that you'll get great great results I've been doing this for years I've had companies pay me a lot of money to get their sites ranked on the top and it works and it works you know very well and very quickly um, once you make your changes to your site again tweet about it post about it ping it and you're good to go